Welcome friends, this is the setup video for the Oregon CS300. This bad boy is nasty, it will get the job done. This thing comes with a 16 inch bar, it's 12 pounds of madness. This version has the lithium ion 6 amp hour battery. This right here is your side cover piece. Holds all your goods. Comes with a guide bar cover. Your guide bar. Yours will be a lot prettier than mine. Here is your tensioner gear screw. To keep your tensioner gear to your bar. Here's your tensioning gear. And your saw chain. Make sure you wear gloves here. Here's your battery with the battery indicator lights. Mine came with a rapid charger. Here's what it looks like. Here's how the battery plugs in. The big old bad power head. Okay, you want to take your bar and your tensioner gear and you want to line this stud up right here through one of these holes. It doesn't matter which one. Um, you're going to end up flipping your bar over one day anyway. Um, here's your tensioner gear screw. You're going to put this in. You're going to line the hole up and lock this thing in. Snug her down. Bam. Boom. Okay, this thing... Um, twist back and forth, but that's not really important because that's not how you're going to do it, but I'm just showing you. Here's your oil reservoir cap and oil inspection window. Okay, now this is a super important step that a lot of people skip. What you want to do is you want to prime the oil, so you want to leave the bar and chain off and just wait, and you'll see it run out right here, and then your saw's ready. You, now, what you want to do is you want to disconnect, take your battery out, bam. Alright, we're going to install the saw chain on the bar. Um, there is a saw chain direction indicator on your side cover to make sure your teeth are lined up. Just look at the picture and you'll see it on the side cover. You just line this bad boy up right here. Make sure the drive links get inside the groove. Yep. Alright. Now you're going to take your power head. Okay, so you want to slip the tensioner gear on the mountain stud. And right here, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the chain to go around the drive sprocket. A lot of people say, well, my chain don't fit around there. What you're going to end up doing is you're going to adjust your tension and gear back until it fits. Still doesn't fit. That's fine. Just go back a little bit more. Bam. There it is. Tighten it up a little bit. Ensure your drive links are in the... There you go. Put your drive links in. Yep, and, and then just kind of tighten it up just to kind of hold it all in place. Wiggle it back and forth. It's got a little bit of movement. That's okay. All right. Here's your sharpening stone. You see how it kind of just passes over the teeth a little bit. Mine's used up. I got another video of us uh, going to change that out. Sweet. So this is the side cover release knob right here. And you just loosen it up, and then you take the chain tensioning ring, and you just adjust your chain to how tight you want how tight it needs to be and then once you get it there and you got it right you just want to snug down you want to snug down this outer piece okay here, here's your chain break right here we're going to run through this i'm going to show you what it sounds like when you um operate this thing and i like to take and put my chain up against a piece of wood and what we're, what we're looking for right here is splatter. So you just wanna make sure this thing is oiling good and it's, it's splattering. Hey guys, I'm sitting here editing the very video that you're watching this right now, right this second. I just wanna say, I hope that the CS300 by Oregon um, went together well. You got everything working. I cannot stress enough again, make sure you prime the oil before you put the chain and the bar on because it could run 30 seconds to a minute with no lubrication on it and things will get super hot when metal's rubbing against metal. I have a sharpening stone video for that saw coming out. I've never changed mine. I've had it for five months now with extreme use. No, no once a week or anything like that. Probably four times a week I use this thing. And so we're going to put the sharpening stone on. We're going to install that together. I've never done it. It looks like it's going to be easy, but I'm going to show you all that too. I also got an official review for this saw coming up, showing you why I love it so much and why you should have one in your shopping cart, whatever site you shop from already. So anyhow, 
Um, appreciate y'all watching the video. See you later.